Hi everyone, welcome to this Tuesday morning episode of Boost. We're so glad that you've been able to join with us today. Today I've got Rochelle Hi. helping me out, but we're excited because we've got a great weekend coming up. That's right, we've got Chaos by Candlelight this Sunday night. It starts at 7.30, so you need to be sitting on the grass by 7 o'clock. Bring a rug, bring uh, some food if you want to. We'll be selling donuts and uh, sausage. We're doing uh, hot dogs, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you need to be coming ready to get into the concert right at 7.30 in the amphitheater behind the library in the Agonis building in Gosnells. Yeah, so invite family and friends and let's make this the best Carols by Candlelight we've ever had. You know, it's funny, we call it Carols by Candlelight, but we don't use candles anymore, no, we do we? <laughs> we don't want to start a bushfire. <laughs> But it's going to be a great night, so invite everybody along. We look forward to seeing you there. But, you know, we're continuing with our book of, the Book of Acts today. We're reading through the Book of Acts, nearly towards the end of it. And Rochelle's going to read today's passage. It's found in Acts chapter 22, verse 24 to the end. So go for it, Rochelle. All right. Uh, Paul reveals his Roman citizenship. The commander brought Paul inside and ordered him lashed with whips to make him confess his crime. He wanted to find out why the crowd had become fu so furious. So they tied Paul down to lash him. Paul said to the officer standing there, is it legal for you to whip a Roman citizen who hasn't even been tried? When the officer heard this, he went to the commander and asked, what are you doing? This man is a Roman citizen. So the commander went over and asked Paul, Tell me, are you a Roman citizen? Yes, I certainly am, Paul replied. I am too, the commander muttered, and it cost me plenty. Paul answered, But I am a citizen by birth. The soldiers who were about to interrogate Paul quickly withdrew when they heard he was a Roman citizen and the commander was frightened because he had ordered him bound and whipped. The next day, the commander ordered the leading priests into session with the Jewish High Council. He wanted to find out what the trouble was all about. So he released Paul to have him stand before them. Uh, thanks, Rochelle. That was an excellent reading. A very good reader, actually. <laughs> And so this is an interesting passage, and just a thought I want to take from this passage. Paul has been arrested. Um, Pastor Bethwin spoke about that yesterday, and, you know, it caused a riot in Jerusalem. A lot of troubles going on. But with Paul, not only was he a Jew, but he was also, as we've discovered, a, a Roman citizen. And most of all, if all of Paul's travels and ministry was within the Roman Empire, and to be a Roman citizen was a really big deal. That meant you had rights that other people didn't have. So perhaps it seems like Paul came from a notable family and by birth he had these special rights. But what's interesting in Paul's journey as he goes through ministry and through the book of Acts, he often doesn't use his rights. What was really important to him is what was God doing at that moment in time. And sometimes he would be punished or tortured for his faith, but he chose not to exercise the Roman rights and reveal he was a Roman citizen because he saw God was doing something else. And so in this, this chapter, he did um, use his rights as a Roman citizen, which ended up leading him all the way to Rome later on and even to Caesar's palace to bring the gospel there. My point is simply this. We live in a world that's obsessed with our rights. Everybody's saying, please notice me. I have rights. I have rights. And, and even Christians can be like that. You know, there's a lot of protests going on in our country right now. And I don't want to give a commentary about that. But everybody's beating the table. Notice me. I have rights. And that means I'm important. But as Christians, we're not really meant to be part of this world. We've got a higher purpose that we're living for. And maybe if we um, could have the same wisdom of Paul and say, God, what are you doing in my life? Do you want me to exercise my rights today for the extension of your kingdom? Or Lord, are you doing something else that I need to see? And I just want to throw that challenge out there that, you know, we're Christians first. 
before Australians and maybe sometimes we need to not be so obsessed with our personal rights but what we need to be mostly focused upon is what is God doing in our lives and in the lives of people around us and so I don't know how you feel about that but I'd love you to leave a comment or two about that it's an interesting passage isn't it and I just can't wait to hear Pastor Bethan read her passage tomorrow so thank you for joining with us today it's been good hasn't it Rochelle? yeah great yeah. yeah would you like to pray a blessing sure. upon all the people listening today Father God we just thank you for this new day we thank you for your blessings that are new every morning and I just pray that everyone will continue to walk in the blessing that you provide for them today in Jesus name Amen, Amen. God bless you everybody have a marvellous Tuesday bye